Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Tuesday, December the 13th. I'm just down at uh, <coughs> Toronto Harbor Front. It's a gorgeous day. It's very cold and you can see snow everywhere. There's a quick look at uh, Lake Ontario. There's Trillium Point over there. And today I'm uh, just doing uh, a quick look as to what the AIS and ADSB activity is like. Um, I'm using two RTLs. There's a version 2 with a whip antenna. I'm using that at 162 megahertz. There's another, um, this is the uh, version, I guess it's a version 3 with the E4000 tuner and it's got a bias T. So I put the antenna on before I connected it just in case I don't want to short out the bias T and that's used for 1090 megahertz. And uh, this is a Windows 10 laptop and those are my USB connections there. So I'm going to go into Camtasia and we'll look at what kind of signals we're receiving on SDR Angel. Okay, so I'm now in Camtasia and I'm looking at SDR Angel. So the later versions of SDR Angel have a very nice feature. <clears throat> I've described but uh, described it in a previous video. I've got the link below. Uh, you can have multiple workspaces. So I've got workspace zero. And on workspace zero, I set up the AIS reception at 162 megahertz. 87B is at 161.975, and channel 88B is at 161.025. So I've set it up there at 162. And then W2, workspace 2, I've got that set up for the um, ADSB. And down here, uh, we're looking at any signals we see. And on workspace zero, <coughs> You can see the messages as well on the ADSB demodulator. Down here, those are the messages. Now, workspace one, I've got the map here. And the nice thing about the map is you can see the uh, ADSB signals as well as the AIS signals. So if I zoom in here, those are the various uh, ships here sending out a signal. You can just click on each one to get the details. Okay, so the, those are the various AIS signals. And just we can zoom out here. And you can see the AIS, the ADSB as well. So it's a really, really, um, it's very useful to be able to see both. You can click on here to get more details on the particular plane that support our aircraft. There's another one there. So anyways, that's just a quick look at AIS and ADSB in the middle of the winter here. Uh, one of the things you have to be careful of when you're using the RTLs, uh, when there's snow around, you got to keep them out of the snow because the, um, the snow will go inside the SMAs and it'll short things out. You don't want to short out your bias T and you also don't want to short out the USB ports on your laptops. So you got to be very careful.